<laughs> you seen the video of Jamel, Janelle Monet? Monet? I, you mean the um the preview? I, I, the whole thing didn't come out. The whole thing just came out. Oh yeah, you saw I, it. I, I saw a couple seconds of it. Yeah. You know, you looked at it. You watched that video. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let's talk about Janelle Monet. Um, do you remember when Janelle Monet came, first came out? Yeah. Remember how she used to wear like suits and ties? Yeah. Dressed like a man. Mm-hmm. And now she's all about sexual liberation? I guess, yeah. You remember when she said F you to Trump supporters and black men? Yeah. She threw black men under the bus? Yeah. Yo, I'm trying to sit here and think like, how could such an intelligent woman fold to the agenda? Because when she first came out, I would have identified her as Hotep because she was super conservative, right? She's like, oh, I don't want to be known for showing my body and all of that stuff. And then she flipped, and now you see she got the wet t-shirt contest thing going on. So I'm wondering, you know, how does an intelligent person like that flip? And it's like, I think it's, I think what happens is you get wrapped in this bubble and, and all of these influences surrounding you begin to shape your mind until you think that is the way. And then what comes out? Janelle Monet, the thought, right? The, the thought or, you know, the IG behavior, you know, whatever, whatever. But seeing her go from, you know, fully dressed to, you know, look at my chi-chis. It's quite fascinating. And she's a beautiful woman. I've loved her, you know, from the very beginning. You remember when she attacked Hotep? Janelle Monet is a coon, man. She's a coon? Yeah, you're afraid to say she's a coon. Saw what uh, Cardi B's doing. See, I, uh, let me <laughs> let me do what, what Massa calls. <laughs> Massa, Massa been telling the, the black woman to take their clothes off since the beginning of time. <laughs> and what Jamel, Janelle Monet do? She couldn't keep it thorough, could she? Couldn't keep it thorough. No, no, no. Because she was still popular. She didn't have to do that. She didn't. She had the movies and everything. You know what I mean? The thought thirst never fails. Yeah, I, you know, I think the hoodwink is tricking women into thinking that sexual freedom is liberation. And conservatism is hotepism, is control of a woman's body. That was the big saya that happened to these people. And I think Janelle Monet fell victim to that. Where now she believes that what she's doing is righteous and revolutionary because the hoteps can't control her body and tell her what to do with her body. So she thinks she's like female empowerment now. And I'm just like, yo, you totally... You know, you totally missed on this one now. I, well, I, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it is a thought, but I just don't understand how they 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 fall for that. Like them taking their clothes off is empowerment. Like how are they? If anything, that's helping the males out. You know what I mean? They're getting it for free. <laughs> you know what I mean, like like, are you being serious here? Um, I don't know, man. I think it's because maybe, but, you know, but she's an artist though. You know, sometimes maybe maybe this is who she was the whole time. You know what I mean? Cause, cause don't y'all like, I don't know, you 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 was in the industry. They might package somebody some one way, but that's not really who they are. But it popped for her, right? Now she like I cause I think the artist Pink was like that. You know, uh Pink from uh from Philly. Yeah, she was doing um, R&B. Yeah. Yeah. But that really wasn't her the whole time. Right. They made so. her do that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they put her, made her put on, on the zoo suits. She was out here to look like a robot, dressing on drogginess or whatever. <laughs> now she got some freedom. Maybe got her masters or something. Second contract. She went Cardi B it up. Well... Well, the trick is to make the women believe that not showing their body is men controlling them. 
right? Because you have the the manosphere of the world saying, you know, this OnlyFans behavior, this dot culture, you know, cover up the conservative thing, right? So it's basically saying we don't have an ideology. We're just anti-conservative. If the conservatives say go left, we're going to go right. And that's really what it comes down to. Instead of saying, like, you know, the conservatives can be right and I can't agree with them because it's common sense. No, conservatives said I need to cover up, therefore I should not. Because if I do cover up, then I'm doing what conservatives are doing and now I'm a Trump supporter. And that's how they simplified it over the past few years.